That is it. I hate this weather. I'm sick of it. Did you know they get freezing rain here? Okay, I, I, I knew they got snow. I was prepared for the snow, but they get this thing called freezing rain. So it's this rain that, that comes down as wet rain, and then it sits on the, on the ground, but then the ground is so cold because the air is warmer than the ground, that as soon as it hits the ground, it freezes. And so you're driving along and there's these like bits of freezing ice hitting your window and everything, the roads are just like glass, ice rink, but a hundred times worse and... <sighs> I miss Helston. Sorry, I'm not gonna cry on YouTube. <laughs> I started this vlog, 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 vlog. It's gonna be on YouTube, so that makes it a vlog, I think. I'm, I'm doing this video because um, I'm really lonely. I don't know anyone here. Canada's huge. I didn't realize how big it was till I moved here. I, I'm just in Ontario, but the size of Canada, like Ontario, and compared that to the size of England, and I, I can't even get my head around Ontario, let alone all the other provinces. It'd take hours, like days, weeks, to drive across Canada, and I'm used to the seven hour trip to Edinburgh. You know, seven hours, and I was in another country where they, they wore kilts and played bagpipes. Helston was my home. Okay, where I used to live in Helston. Helston has this big, gorgeous patch of roses and there's this whole area of the garden where in the middle of summer, say kind of June time, everywhere is just yellow, just full of yellow and slightly orange roses. I can't, re I can't remember the name of them. Mum tried to tell me the name like every year. She hated me calling them yellow roses. So I had to say roses, yellow, citrus. I love Helston. I grew up there and I just miss it. And every day I'm flipping, walking across campus and have to try not to skid over on freezing rain or snow or ice or frost or all the different types of winter hell they have here. <sighs> Sorry. I just keep thinking of the yellow roses at Helston. I just want to see them again. And I just can't forgive mum and dad for selling, for selling the cottage, selling Helston. I was at uni and they just sell it and up and go to Canada. I mean, Dad has this, or he had, I should say, he, he had this amazing job where he could work from home most of the time. It was with this really cool PR company and we were all great and everything was great and Mum was happy there and I know she's not happy here. All I can think about is Helston. It's, you know, it's like, it's like one of those Agatha Christie places where it's got like, um, the gorgeous thatched cottages and people go to the Women's Institute and there's a village green where they have a local cricketing club that play there every Saturday morning. It's like Miss Marple but without the murders. Why would you ever leave? I don't know why they've gone and I don't even know if Mum knows why they're here. I think Dad just knows and he's not telling me. But, you know, this was my plan. I did my three-year degree at university in London studying English literature and I loved it and I lived with Auntie Sharon and Edie, my cousin, who's also my best friend, and we had an amazing time and... But then Edie and her boyfriend Lennox got married, which is great. It, we all saw it coming and they went off travelling and I wanted to do a master's in Oxford and they accepted me. They accepted me, you know? Like, I couldn't afford it. Mum and Dad couldn't help. Money's tight. I know that's one of the reasons why they came, although I don't know why, really. And without me knowing, they'd applied to this Milton University, which is the university right near where they're living. 
And of course, I didn't know about that. And then they turn around and say, Maggie, it's great news. You've got all these scholarships. So I'm sorry that you can't afford to go to Oxford, but that's okay. Come and move to Canada. And it was great because I didn't have to pay very much money at all because I got this amazing scholarship and everything was great. Apart from I had to move to Canada in the winter when I never wanted to leave England. <sighs> I mean, at least I'm able to focus on Victorian literature like I wanted to. I mean, I'm, I'm reading Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell right now and they seem to be able to have an intelligent conversation on it in lectures. Although, I keep saying it's Gaskell, like Gaskell, and they're all like, Gaskell. Everyone here speaks differently and they all think I speak differently. No one understands what I'm saying. I had to say tomato when I was ordering a sandwich at Subway the other day. Tomato, I said it five times, and in the end I was like, I will just have a slice of tomato, please, and it killed my soul. Sorry. Helston was my home. I, I lived there, and they just sold it. And what's more, they, they just sold it, and I didn't even get to go to the house again before they sold it. I travelled down just before I flew out here. I couldn't go into the house, I just wanted to see the place, but then, of course, yeah, that's, there's a whole story to do with that. Hi, I'm Maggie Hale. I'm a graduate student at Milton University. I like tea, I play violins, and I hate snow, and I miss roses, and Helston. Until next time, where I'm sure I will have even more complaining to do about the snow.